take another uh, these uh, another few points to understand the percentage in ratio in very well like n by d now n1 by d1 now complete n by d we want to check it is changed by how much percent now just now whatever we have seen the properties we have seen individually based on the numerator change and denominator change means percentage change in numerator is happening and percentage change in denominator is happening then based on the value of the percentage change of numerator and denominator we have decided which ratio will be more which ratio will be less now just we want to check complete ratio it is changing or not if it is changing then it is increasing or decreasing correct based on the corresponding change of numerator and denominator then here n by d to n1 by d1 now n by d percentage change either increase or decrease how we will able to check that's just we look now just suppose 20 by 15 it changed to 30 by 20 it is not equal i am not given equality sign i have given the arrow arrow sign like 20 by 15 is changed to 30 by 20 then what are the individual change in numerator numerator is changing by 50 percent it is increased and denominator is increased by 33 percent okay now to just check overall change in this ratio 20 by 15 means if you are taking in the form of fraction and you are taking in the form of fraction then what is the change between these two fraction what will be the percentage change increase or decrease this only we want to change we want to check based on the individual change in your numerator and denominator then how will she how will just uh, how will just go through this and we will just justify in within one line just to lay, take 100 first you do numerator change what is numerator change plus 50 percent it will change to 150 now you just do the decrease in denominator in reverse way here numerator has changed 20 to 30 50 percent we have taken 50 percent now you take the denominator change in denominator in reverse way means 20 to 15 this 20 to 15 what is decrease it will become 25 percent decrease this 50 percent increase now these two number you take consecutively successive change with 100 you can take the base 100 100 we have taken 50 percent increase now you take 25 percent decrease net change will become 112.5 now 100 will change to 112.5 means total change in your ratio will be 12.5 individual your numerator is changed by 50 percent denominator is increased by 33 percent but ratio 20 by 15 will increase by 12.5 percent and it will change to 30 by 20 correct how we will take we just will take numerator change that is as it is what are 50 percent denominator change will take in reverse way reverse way we will take like 20 to 15 this is 20 this is 15 and this is 25 percent decrease this is 25 percent decrease then this 25 percent decrease just will write here consecutive percentage change 50 percent increase 25 percent decrease it will become 1125 then we can say here just we'll look in terms of fraction then it will become more clear 20 by 15 is around 1.33 30 by 20 is 1.5 1.33 to 1.5 it will be increased by around 